Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Uh, guys, we're going to do a, a, another Vitamin C uh, brewing beer. Uh, this is their Due West. Uh, and this was sent to me by Greg. And uh, uh, he had the Mango Marshmallow Popsicle listed twice on the sheet that he sent. But I got a feeling this one should have been uh, uh, one of those in there so uh, this is a 6.2 percenter uh, and I got a sneaky suspicion that Richie his friend Richie uh, also donated this one I'm not sure about that since he didn't have it listed here on the paper but uh, Richie contributed the other two vitamin C beers uh, that was sent to me so I got a feeling Richie contributed all three of the vitamin C beers uh, and uh, he did buy that at the brewery, and these guys are in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let me jump over to Untapped, and we'll take a quick look on the bottom. And it says "Long Overdue," and it was canned on 072320. So uh, barely barely over a week old. Back right at a week old. So uh, pretty damn fresh. <laughs> Uh, about as fresh as you can get it, pick it up, box it up, send it to me, and then for me to review. So, uh, pretty quick turnaround time. I can't get beers this fresh around here. This brewed two miles down the street. So, with that being said, uh, Untapped also has it listed as a 6% uh, instead of a 6.2. So, maybe they've done it before and they had a lower ABV rating. But this one does say 6.2 on the can. So, uh, I, I take it for what the can says instead of what any of these websites say, so it is what it is. But I do appreciate Greg sending me the beer that he does. Uh, he is absolutely awesome. And uh, everybody, Adam and uh, Richie, that contribute to the Beer Mouth Package, thank you all. Uh, <coughs> Oded New England IPA with Nelson Sauvin and uh, Cascade Hops. Uh, so we should get a little bit of maybe some white grapes from the Nelson Sauvin hops and Cascade hops are one of the very popular hops I've brewed with it many, many times, guys. So very tasty hop. Uh, and I used to grow them, but uh, I don't grow Cascades anymore. I wiped out one of those hop beds, uh, the stuff I was, I was just... It's had too much hops growing around here for the amount of beers I was brewing, and uh, uh, I haven't got back into that yet. So it's been quite a while since I brewed anything. All that equipment has been tucked away, but I do have one hop bed out there that is still growing, and uh, uh, probably will be picking some of those hops before too long. I checked the other day, and then that wasn't quite ready, but uh, I've got uh, seven, eight, maybe. Nine, I'm not exactly sure how many strands I've got out there, but uh, they're all doing very well and loaded up with hops. So we're waiting for the lupulin powder to get ready and nice and yellow inside the cones, and we're going to pick them and dry them, and uh, maybe I'll brew some beers here this fall. So uh, we shall see. But uh, we've gone over everything, ABV, IBUs, I mean the ABV and the date. We don't have the IBUs, so... Uh, Let's get it in the glass. Start pouring. Very hazy, very cloudy coming out of the can, guys. Definitely looks like a New England style IPA. It seems to be decently carbonated. So, uh, we probably would have ease off on that aggressive. And when I swirl it up like that to dig it loosen up anything that could have possibly settled into the bottom of the can in a week. Don't think that's going to happen. Well, we got over two fingers of head on that. A good looking beer. 
looks like orange juice in the glass. Not a bright orange juice, but it still looks like orange juice. Uh, very cloudy, very hazy, guys. I'm not seeing any light at all coming through the glass. Good looking beer, don't you think? So, uh, to the nose we go. Very citrusy. Hints of pine, pineapple. Some tropical fruit notes in there, maybe even some oranges. Smells very, very pleasant, guys. Not getting a lot of grapey notes on the nose. Maybe some white grapes. Might be even a little bit more into taste. So let's do that. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg and Richie. Thank you. Yeah, little bit of white grapes on the taste. Not super heavy, but just enough to let you know that they're there. Alcohol is super hidden. Uh, I'm not getting any alcohol taste at all on it. Very smooth, very easy drinking. Almost a session beer, if you were, so, uh, if you will, is so smooth. Uh, very pleasant, very tasty. I would buy these guys' beers if I could get them here. I would probably lean more toward the seven percenters, uh, uh, probably, and, and bigger. Uh, I don't know uh, how many different beers they produce. I didn't go and look, uh, but I think they brew quite a few different beers, and I don't know how long they've been brewing beer. So, uh, very tasty. Uh, you, all you cats that's in Massachusetts, uh, they can get these beers. And like I said, I'm not even sure uh, whether they even distribute or not. You might have to buy a thing at the brewery like Treehouse and uh, some of the others do. I'm not sure. I don't have that information, guys. So we're going to get to back in into the glass. Very creamy coming out. Very nice looking beer. It is. Very colorful label. Uh, very, very nice. Anyway, we're going to straight out of the fridge. We're going to sip on it for a little bit and uh, uh, better come up to room temperature like we always do and we'll come back and give it a greed. Alright guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it for a while now. Very impressive lacing is left on the glass. A very, very tasty beer. Uh, now that's warmed up, I'm not getting any more than I did originally. It's a very tasty New England style IPA, guys. Uh, barely low ABV at 6.2%. So, uh, you may be able to session this one. Like I said, uh, uh, it is a very pleasant beer to drink. And uh, even though it's not the 7%, I will probably buy it. I love this style of beer. I mean, it just has so much hop aroma. Where a lot of even the 7 8% that's produced around here doesn't have. So, uh, impressive. Impressive beer. Found you. Ah, yes. Delicious beer. Uh, if you can get vitamin C beers, uh, pick them up. So I can say, uh, I said, I don't know if they distribute it, it's brewery only, uh, I don't have that information, guys, but if you like this style of beer and you can get their beers, give them a try, pick up one. If you like it, buy more. Uh, that's easy enough to do. I mean, uh, tasty beer, guys. As far as I'm concerned, it's a beer, 95 for me. Uh, over the beer advocate, uh, only one person has commented and said they don't have a grade. Imagine that. Over to Untap, 218 people have commented on this beer. What's up with that? One on Beer Advocate, 218 on Untap. Mm. Uh, they have it at 4.24. That's their borderline A minus to A scale. Uh, benefit of the doubt. It's got the can on day on. It's got the ABV on. Good enough in my book. That being said, if you've had Due West from Vitamin C Brewing, let me know what you think.
Can I read again? Let's go see what's in the fridge. 